The third phase is the naval phase, in which all naval units are moved, uh, blockade effects are taken care of, and the optional raider operations, both raiding and U.S. shadow hunting, take place. And uh, that would be my moving first, which puts me at a disadvantage because you cannot send your fleet against me. Um, however, my raiders aren't going to be worth anything if they don't go to sea and do their raiding. So, um, on the other hand, you would only be able to fully blockade one, and I would be sure to get three out the following turn. I do have an advantage in PCs. I think I will bring my raiders back into port. So I brought one into New Orleans, into Mobile, into Pensacola, and into Charleston. The onus is on you as to what to do. We'll continue blockading this port. We'll send these to you to blockade here. And that leaves me with one fleet which really uh, doesn't have anything to do, as far as I can tell. Unless you have a suggestion. No suggestion unless you want to remove the blockade here and go after one of the raiders. But even doing that, the raiders aren't going out to sea to interfere with my commerce. What would be the point of blockading them at this point? Oh, would prevent them from coming out next The following day? turn. Hmm. But if I continue the blockade on the town, you lose uh, PC. I won't lose anything yet because you have not fully blockaded three, and it only takes effect after you blockade these three ports. Okay. So you would then have to blockade additional ports for it to affect my supply. <coughs> Which three ports need to be blockaded? The three that you're attempting to blockade now. You have Beaufort, you have Norfolk, and what you need... Oh, but actually, you already have Wilmington. I apologize. I have him. So you could take him out and you could place him in Apalachicola. You could place him in Sabine or Galveston. And each of those only have a single access, which would mean I would have to place um, an IT somewhere on the board. All right. We'll do that. Okay. So take this IT. And I will look for a general that it is not going to affect overly much. And I'm seeing Clevern, who's probably not going to get into the fight this turn. So what is the effect of that, uh, of that one point on him? And what an IT does is it subtracts one from his ability, both attack and defense. It also adds to his um, activation number. So his activation is two. That would mean I would have to play a three card to activate him, three or greater. OK. All right. So we have finished with our naval phase.